All right, we are live here at Ryan's Family Music at Millis. I'm Drew Steele. To the left, the number three C in the ACSTA, Southern Conference, Mr. Billy Shiner Sr. To the right, tied for eighth in the conference, but has a lot of other accolades, Mr. Chris Parkinson. Five strings, uh, two for each string, four for total. We're ready to rock. Some of you guys, Billy's the home team today? Yes, sir. Chris Parkinson. A past winner of the Outrun the Bear, right? Was that Scratch, Chris, or Handicap? When you won it. It was Scratch. He won the Scratch title, even more prestigious. We are here live. Ryan Sam News is in Millis. My second time in three days. Different environment, a little bit. Luke Anderson says, get after it, Billy Shiner Sr. Got family and friends and family. Rock and roll. All right. Chris with his first ball. Off the head, pick the seven drop. One, three, and five. I put the camera in a little more than I usually do. Seemed to look good during the warm-up, so we'll go with it. Chris misses, leaving up a one and a three. First box. Got a long way to go, these matches. Chris Parkinson with an impressive 123.6 ACST average, a record of 82 and 86. He is fourth in Division Two in the Class A. That was an A box. But he is in the Division of Doom. Probably the toughest division there with uh, Justin Waters, Sean Taylor, and uh, Jeremy Seaholm. All four in the playoffs as we speak. Nice pocket hit, Chris Parkinson, leaving a 6 9 10. Lumber liquidators on the deck right there. We got 41 viewers already. Thank you very much. I just found out about this match when I was eating dinner last night. Got the little text from Mr. Parkinson. I said, Yeah, heck yeah, I'll do this match. Had a great match with Billy when he bowled Justin Waters. A couple weeks ago. Okay, 10 box. Chris Parkinson, 18 for 2. Chris, a pretty decorated bowler through the years. Um, he's third in the average in Class A with a 123.58. Second in spares, 191. He's got a whole bunch of other things going for him. Oh man, move the pin, leaving a 1, 3, 6, and a 9. Which has been moved over quite a few inches. A little bit off there, chopping out the three and the nine, leaving a one six. He has the ninth tie series with a six sixty seven, and he is sixth in strikes with fifty three. Ten box right there. I think also Chris has had several appearances on the uh, New England Candle Pin Show. Huh? We'll find out. Greg Packer from Australia says hi. Hey, come on now, Porter. Chris, God, brute, nice pocket hip. I'm leaving a 6, 7, and a 10. This is Class A. These are your heavy hitters. These are your Friday Night Pro League guys. These are your Pro Tour guys. Who needs a stinking one? Chris Parkinson makes a 6 7 10. Had a little bit of help with in front of it, but he slid it over. Man, it went anyway. Beautiful shot for his first mark of the match. 38 in a ball for Mr. Parkinson. Greg Packer from Australia says, Good luck, guys. Greg is always on the streams here. We always like seeing him. Okay, six on the spare. One, two, six, ten. Yanked it just a little bit. Take the six. Oh, man, that thing flew forward. That was kind of something you don't see every day. That pin fly forward that much. He is having a rainy morning. 
in Australia, Mr. Greg Packer is. Scott Hodgson's here also, thank you. That'll be 53 uh, through 5 for Chris. Getting loose here. Scott Hodgson's Raleigh, North Carolina, thank you. Glad you can watch it. Do you just have 10 pins down there, or do they have duck pins in North Carolina, Scott? Let me know uh, what you got for bowling varieties down there. Billy Shiner Sr. with a record of 106 and 76. He is first place in his division. He has a 121.72 average. He's one of eight bowlers over 120 this year in the ACST South. His last four matches, he was 10 and 4 against McClellan. 10 and 4 against Rob Linehan. He had a 2 and 12 against Justin Waters, but that was only by nine pins. And a 2 and 12 against Jeremy Seahall. Hey, Michael Izzo. Glad you're on here. Glad you're enjoying it. Ah, oh, pocket hit by Shiner, leaving up the uh, Starlight 5. The 3, the 5, the 6, the 9, the 10. I moved the camera in a little bit from what I did on the King of the Hill the other night. Hopefully, it's a better uh, viewing uh, experience for all of you. Takes the 5, 9, 10 out of that? Okay. Leaving a 3 and a 6. Yeah, the, uh, the duck pins on... Uh, the duck pins on ropes, that's becoming a big thing. But those aren't regulation lanes, I think. Those are only 40-foot lanes. The regular, the regular sport has a 60-foot lane like we have here. But that's cool. At least there's some variety in bowling in North Carolina. Got the one. Two, six, ten. Nice. One, two, seven, ten, excuse me. Wood right in front of the seven. Uh, Greg Packer, uh, duck pins is another form of the sport. Uh, the pins are short and fat. That's why they call them duck pins. They're shorter than candle pins and fatter. They don't allow dead wood play, but you do get three balls. And it's scored identical to duck pins. Uh, the scoring is a little bit higher. The all-time high score in that discipline is 277, and our high-time high score is 245. Okay, Billy is tied right now with the two boxes with 18. I'm Drew Steele. We're here at Ryan's Family Amusements in Millis. Let's choose it. In the pocket. Beautiful hit by Shiner. Leaving up a seven pin. Got a little guide wood. Could be a little tricky. Oh, it was a roadblock. I thought right where he put it, left cap was going to be good. Yeah, Greg, I'm glad. I'm glad you enjoy it, man. Canopy. Right now, we're on the Atlantic Canopin Singles Tour on Facebook. This will be uploaded later to uh, Canopin Boring Network on the YouTube. 23 viewers, thank you once again. Okay. A little better wood, I think, this time for Billy on a uh, 3610. Billy's on the head pin right now. He's, he's got a definite, serious amount of velocity on his ball. And he makes it. First blood for Billy Shiner. Both bowlers get their first mark in the fourth box. Billy trails by seven, but has a fill ball working. Yeah, I'm sorry for your loss, uh, Greg. Um, I lost my aunt where I spend my Thanksgiving and Christmases now. I had a major loss too recently. I understand your feeling. Um, just take time with your grief and uh, Scott. Greg is from Australia. <laughs> back to back spare. Nice bowl of Billy Shiner takes a two pin lead with a fill ball. Coming over lane sixteen, Chris Parkinson. Once again, Chris has the third highest average of 123.6. His recent four matches, he had an 0-14 against Mike Nardo. He's had a 10-4 against Brian Heffernan, a 6-8 against Charlie Collins, and a 10-4 against Dan Shugathier. 
leaves a split this time, 5-6-10. Um, thank you, Greg, for the condolences. Uh, uh, sorry for your loss as well, sir. Okay, only took out the uh, 610. Wood was a bit too flat there. That is a nine box for Chris. Chris is perennially always in the men's worlds as well as the mixed worlds for several years. He's been a very high level bowler for a long time. And he's probably been in this ACST since pretty much its inception. Loves to compete and competes at a high level. All right, uh, Chris, even a one, a six, eight, ten. What in between the one and the six? Okay, that will be uh, leaving a one, six, ten. He's a big out here. <clears throat> These bowlers only two, less than two pins across, uh, an average from each other. So nice out there. Big 10 box for Chris, 72 through 7. Once again, everybody, I'm on the Atlantic Candle Pit Singles Tour Facebook. That is the only channel we're going to be on today. So if you want to ask me questions and everything, you can do that. Up to 31 viewers now. Thank you very much, everybody watching worldwide. Parkinson in the pocket, hammer time. Nice ball. As Duncan uh, McDougal would say, open up the kaboom box. Duncan, using my tagline. It's okay, Duncan. He's a great guy. I like Duncan. He can he use my taglines when he feels like it. Chris going for the double mixing. Leaves a split. Two, four, seven, ten. Oh, good cough here. Thank you, Gretchen. Maya Martino. In the awesome Wednesday night league, I bowled against you several times. Says, way to go, Chris. And Chris Parks on the outside takes it. Spare on strike. What a shot. Chris has made two multi-pin splits already in this match. 102 and a ball for Chris Parkinson. Chris in the pocket again. And oh, leaves a split again. 5-7, but it's a nice 8 go on the spare. Cut it. Oh, just missed it. All right. Chris, he's going to finish with a 118, 119, or 120. We'll see here. A little bit lower than his usual average, but a nice comeback. <laughs> 53 and a half. It'll be a 118 for Chris Parkinson. Billy Shiner right now will need, including his fill ball, 64 pins to take game one. Pocket Billy leaving a seven and an eight. It's a good eight pill though. He takes a ten pin lead at the half here. And he makes it dead on like the left side of the pin there. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had a quick cough there. Seventy-three Annabelle. Shiner off the head pin, but boy, his ball is working like a maniac. Wiping out the one and the three, leaving a six ten with some wood that may be a little tricky, but going for four marks in a row right here, Billy. Billy is the number three seed in the conference. He's leading his division right now. It makes the spare. 91 and 1. He's up 19 through 7. All right, all the people that are watching, boxes 2, 4, 5, 7, 9, and 10. I'll give the leads for the game and, and match and or deficits. But Billy is on fire right now. Four straight marks. Yeah. 
Yeah, Scott. Uh, Micah d- likes to uh, put, he does a great job. He puts extra replays on his, so he records his and uploads them later. But we are absolutely live right now on this broadcast. Micah does a great job. I worked with him on Saturday in his match against uh, five in a row, Billy Shiner on fire. Like he was earlier against Justin Waters, that 166 game he pulled. 110 and a ball in the eight for Billy. In the pocket, seven, eight. Wood getting out of the way. Billy with a decent piece of wood in front there, going a six in a row. My record this year was done at the uh, King, at uh, what's we call it, Putnam Street. Oh, it did not go. His five, five mark string ends, but Billy Shiner's taking the first game. And the big two points to come with it. 128 through 8. 9, excuse me. This is going to be a high scoring match. You got two of the six highest averages in the, in the whole uh, ACST right here. So, a lot of firepower for both bowlers. Billy this year bowling on the big, the big time Wednesday night league. I think it's his first year in that, if I'm not mistaken. Just off, but mixing like crazy. Two off the head, but he's got two huge breaks. They were a five, seven, eight with a flat plank. But uh, let's see what the how good the break is. If that piece of wood gets in the way or out of the way. Oh, that cap wood is a little dangerous. Yeah, you got to check the wood. We have a rule. Um, there is a dead wood line right about where that light ends in front of the pins. If it is touching or over, it has to be taken out of play. The bowler cannot use it, which can be advantageous. Yeah, I think I did, Greg. I do that sometimes. I now shoot shanks. I know. But in my defense, I announced my roller derby team was was undefeated eight times during the season. We finished undefeated. <laughs> I announced it for Justin last year, too. Spare there. Billy Shiner, six out of seven ain't bad. Rest in peace, Mr. Meatloaf. Jeez. 20 pin lead and a ball here. Whew, this half's going to be... It should be in the 80s. Wow. Yeah, Greg, they, the Australia team won the world championship five or six years ago. The flat track roller derby team. I think they're from Melbourne. Melbourne. Just put in Australia roller derby in your uh, YouTube thing. I'm, you'll find it. Billy Shiner, 147. What a start. But Mr. Parkinson has similar octane. He can put up a score like that in a heartbeat. Still 34 viewers. Thank you very much here. Class A. The heavy hitters are going at it right now. All right, buddy. Run it in there now. Chris, leave it a washout. No wood here. One, three, four, six, seven, and nine. Uh, Goes in the hole. He's a big out ball here. I mean, that's a great score for Billy. He opened his first three boxes, too. And number 147. That was a good out ball from Chris right there. Dennis Goodyear watching from Vermont. How you doing? Do you bowl candle pins up in Vermont? I think there's one or two houses in the southern part of that state, Dennis. There may, there used to be duck pins too. Yep, yeah, Vermont. I hear you, Dennis. I hear you. Oh, Chris just pulled it. The wood looked like it was up against it, but it wasn't. It was a little bit of an illusion there. And it is a nine box for Chris Parkinson. 17 through 2 for Chris. We're in game 2 of a 5 game match here. Another 9 
drop. Beautiful first ball for Chris Parkinson, leaving a seven pin up. No useful wood on the deck. Barry's at that time. Good comeback. Just think about Chris. He's very mentally strong bowler. I've noticed that from bowling against him in leagues. He just goes at his pace. And does his thing. 27 and a ball. Okay, no candle pins up where he is in that Vermont. Okay, it's sad, but... Five in the spare for Chris. Four horsemen with the nine pin. Do it. Oh, just missed the head pin. Taking out the three, six, nine, leaving a one and a ten on the deck. Hey, Ryan. Good morning. Good evening, man. Nine box for 41. Yeah, we had a great night Saturday night there, Putnam Street. 28 total competitors going for the King of the Hill there. Me and Rick Santucci on the mic for that event. Congratulations to uh, Mr. Mark Uvard becoming the King of the Hill there in Pittsburgh. Over right now, the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour. Chris going for a spare. Put it in the pocket. Just a pinch light and not take the extra pins, leaving a six and a seven. Okay, nine box for Chris. 50 half for Chris Parkinson. Missed that one single. That really slowed his scoring down a little bit for that half. But, uh, hey, Billy Shiner back up on 15. Leaving up the uh, four pin. Nice pocket hit. Big nine drop for Billy. Gets his bear right in the money. Got ten with a big fill ball in the first box. Billy right away in the lead here in game two. I moved the camera in a little bit, Ryan, from what I did on Saturday. Hopefully it's making a nice viewing experience for you guys. I have to do my matches in vertical due to Facebook and their new rules and regulations. I haven't been, nobody's shown me how to get past that yet, so we're going to work on going back to a landscape hopefully soon. Okay, five on the spare for Billy. Four horsemen with the knot, eight with a nice piece of wood in there. Oh! He played it on the outside, which kind of caused a roadblock. The wood stopped the, the two pin from taking out the eight. Bad break there for Billy. That is ten bucks. That wood wasn't in the middle there. Billy would have made it on that outside hit, but 25 for two. Billy up eight for the game. And he's up 37 for the match right now. Still early. We saw in Billy's match against Justin Waters, he made Billy made up a 51 pin lead by Justin in one game. So anything is possible. In the pocket, seven, eight, nine with a plank in front. Okay, wood moving out a little bit, but it looks pretty friendly up there. The wood in back, I don't think it's going to really bother it any. And he makes it 35 to 3. With a ball. As we're in game two of a five string match here. Ryan's family music is Millis. I'm Drew Steele. Commentating for the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour on Facebook.
Shiner in the pocket again. He's in a groove. Seven, eight, nine. And the ball is getting extra pins for him. Twice last game he got extra pins off the head pin, which led to two more marks. Let's see if this will lead to another mark here. And he makes it two in a row. Back-to-back -back attack. Billy Shiner. Here's the we got Gre Gremlin Kerrigan Bourne says, get it, Billy Shiner Sr. Billy's got a lot of fans here today so far in the match. Come on, how about some Chris Parkinson uh, followers here? Give him some support, too. Billy misses the head pin, but gets eight. He's getting the extra pin right now like crazy. His ball is really working. Billy's near the 40-mile-an-hour mark, I think, for speed. I don't know if uh, Bob Lee's ever clocked him before. Makes it again. Three in a row. Back-to-back -back games. That's very rare to do in Candlepin. 72 and a ball for Billy Shiner, senior. There we go. That might be better. And off the head pin, chops out the half Worcester, the two of the eight. Okay. Hits the object, was a little light, left up a 5 7 10. That was a bad break there. Thought he deserved a little more out of it than what he got. Glenn Gill saying, uh, Billy's, Billy's been on fire. I agree. His ball is really working right now. 58 through 6 for Chris. But still early in the match. We're not even through two games yet, so. Chris off the head pin, leaving that to Leary. 1, 2, 4, 7, 9. Named after Bob Clear, a man who bowled in this house and in this area. He tended to leave this spare a lot, so it got named after him. And he makes it. Beautiful shot, Chris Parker. That is what the doctor ordered for him right there. He needs to put some marks together, get himself situated for the rest of this game and the rest of this match. And the nose leaving a split. Three, six, seven, eight, ten. But that wood looks pretty favorable to at least kick over to the left and do something. Nice. All right. Uh, Chris will be open in the eighth. Got a big out ball here. Gets only one out of the four. Uh, 80 through eight for Chris. With a five fill on his spare. Okay, two big boxes right here. It's a critical moment here for Chris. Wants to set himself up for the rest of his match. Two good boxes. Try to mark both. Get the momentum going in his favor. Like it was at the end of his second half last time. All right, leaving a one, three, six, and seven. Chris, just a little short of that pin there. Leaving a one, seven. Go for the ten box. Okay, nine box, eighty-nine through nine for Chris. Big finish, buddy. He's a big finish right here, like you hear from Billy. He definitely needs it. This is what we call the uh, pulled it left, left, take out the four, seven, eight. Tenth box, very important. If you ever watch a lot of Justin Waters type matches, he really marks a lot in the tenth. It's a big point of emphasis for him. And he really executes well there. Chris, he's putting it in the object area, but it's just not going sometimes. It's a pinch light or a pinch heavy. But he'll get it worked out, I'm sure, some of his talents. 98 there for Chris for this game, too. Okay, Billy looking to stay hot. Back-to-back -back games here, 72 and a ball for Billy. Billy. 
I'm sorry, my phone is going slow internet connection on and off. I'm sorry if the picture gets messed with or something. Uh, I don't know how to control that. Usually, I've never had this happen at Miller's. I've had it happen at Putnam Street, but... Okay, five of the spare for Billy, leaving a Cleary. One, three, six... <laughs> no. One, two, four, seven, nine. I juxtaposed. I always do that. Oh, my goodness. Can't throw that any better without making it. Billy Smart Street ends at three. He gets a ten box. Uh, Billy is third overall in Class A right now. He's the, got the fifth highest average in this in uh, ACST. Second highest single with a 180. Six highest series with a 681. And he's third in strikes with 60 of them so far this year. Seven, eight, nine. Getting a lot of nine drops today. I noticed that. This ball is working. Yeah, I think he's only had one strike in the match so far. Linda Batchelder says, good luck. Oh, really? <laughs> Using that one, making that spare. 97 in a ball, up by 24 in a ball right now. Out to a blazing start at drive time here Monday. Barely hits the head pin, wipes everything else out, and the head pin's the last to fall, leaving the two pin. <laughs> that was unusual. This nick the head pin just wiped out the whole back deck there. Nine fill in the spare, 106 or seven. Another spare for Billy, 116 to eight. Putting on a show right now. Five marks in his last six boxes. Six marks overall in this game so far. Shiner in the pocket, seven, eight, nine again. 125 to eight. And another spare. Three in a row again. Two separate times in the game. 135 and a ball. Billy Shiner Sr. Greg says it's Tuesday. Yes, it is Tuesday in Australia, yeah, Greg. Shiner misses the head pin, but the ball's still working. Takes eight out of it, but I'm not sure he liked that last pin falling. It would have made a good combination with the wood. 143 in the ninth, really Shiner. Holy cow, Batman, this guy's on fire. <laughs> yep. It's not Mark. He's o Mark Strick is over, open in the 10th, but he's in the 150s. And an 8. 151, Billy Shiner, 298 through 2. Out to you, surely lead in this matchup. But there's still, you know the game, you know the change. This man, Chris Park, has the third highest average in this whole thing. He could turn it on and start bowling these 151 type games very easily, fans. So, mark my words. Okay. Play my first perfect game in the last box. Yeah, we have had a perfect game. Not that I know. Uh, I think I may have had one. Ever. Chris going for the spare. Right on it. He needed that. That's the type of start he needed. I've seen this year, last year I did three matches. Bowlers were down 4 0, and they ended up winning 10 4. So. Chris Parkinson, three, four, five, six. He gets a break off the head pin. 
One, three, and ten. Nice wood in front of the ten. Going for two in a row right here. Ugh, just off the head pin there. Okay, going for a ten box right now. Because we're in the third game right now. Twenty-seven. Um, this was two. Billy was going for a very rare feat there. Three hundred for two games. Ah, uh, Chris chops taking the chop zone right there. Taking out two, five, and eight. How do you get two out of that? My goodness. That was a terrible break. All right. Chris needs a big out ball here. Okay, six box. 38, 33, excuse me, 33 for Chris. Two big boxes here as we hear. Starting up game three here. Class A, Southern Conference. Big showdown here. Chris barely hits the head pin again and gets a horrific split. Three, seven, eight, but there's I don't know if that wood is gonna be any help. It was one heck of a bid by Chris, took the three and the eight out, but the seven remains. Yeah, right. Ten box for Chris. Slow connection thing again. What the? In the pocket, Chris Parker. There we go. Stop. Hammer time. Chris Robinson. Chris Parkinson. Unloads for big strike there. He needed that. 53 and 2. Me, me being an idiot calls him Robinson. That's not a name. But I'm allowed three mistakes a night by my union, so I made mean one already, okay? Okay. Back up, Billy Shiner. Adrenaline's going to be running through him right now like crazy. <laughs> I know, I'd be excited as heck if I was born like he is. For 40 viewers again. That's so why you see some great bone here. In the Atlantic Channel Pit Singles Tour. Billy in the pocket. Got in the nose. Still mixing. Got a little bit better there. Three and a four. Piece of wood in back may be a guy. Does not go. Just was a little too far back. Billy looking for a 10 box here. And gets a nine box. Chris Parkinson in the lead for the pretty much the first time in the match so far. Eight so far in this game. Boxes two, four, and five fails. I'll let you know the deficit in the game and the match. Two points for each game. Four points for total. Fourteen total points in the match. Billy, oh, half Worcester. Okay. My most hated shot right there. Let's see if he makes it. It's real pretty when this one goes. Okay, he left a one, four, seven. No wood. Going for a ten box. It'll be a seven box for Billy. Sixteen through two. He trails by eleven in this game right now. Rough box there. But remember game one, he opened his first three and had a 147, so anything is possible. Ball may have took some damage there. Billy, uh, just a little bit off the left. And that chop zone right now, he got the one, the, 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 the uh, blah, blah, blah. two, four, seven, and eight. Got tongue tied a little bit there. Yeah. 
He takes out the six pin. He's a big out ball right here. Another seven box there. 23 to 3 right now. His Billy's last four matches, he was 10 and 4 against Chris McCullen, 10 and 4 against Rob Lindahan, 2 and 12 versus Justin Waters, and 2 and 12 versus Jeremy C.O. In the pocket! Oh man, no break there. 5, 6, 10. Flat piece of wood near the 6, 10. He has wins also this year of 10 and 4 against Tim Douglas and 11 and 3 against Sharp Collins. Takes out the six of the ten, leaving up the five. It'll be a nine box. Thirty-two to four. Billy trails Chris by eleven pins right now. Chris on a strike. Big mark here for Billy. If he can get one to sit right here. Shire the pocket. Beautiful pocket hit. Just leaving a five pin up. Oh, he just pulled a little bit to the left. He can open half for Billy. Okay, 42 for the half. Chris Parkinson leads by 11 right now, has two fill balls coming. <laughs> Chris Parkson. That boat bowlers in the blue shirts today. More like that teal. Kind of reminds me of the old Charlotte Hornet jerseys he's that color. I like the color though. I got I got my sort of teal on today too. Yeah, Chris leaving a 2 5 10. Huh? What an ugly split. He's got to play on the outside of the two and sweep everything. On the strike for Chris, 61 half. He's up by 19 after uh, five boxes. And a nine box for Chris. Throws it a little off the head pin though. Five, six, seven. Leaving a one, eight, ten. A lot of wood on the deck to help him out. Oh, he just got to be on the object there. Wood did not deflect over. It was too flat. Okay, needs an out here. One, eight, ten. Great out there for Chris. 80 through 7. Three big boxes to go for him. He's in a very tough division right now. Every point is worth his weight in gold. At this point in the season for Chris. 7, 8, 9. Nice pocket hit for Chris. Even a 5 pin up there. Also known as the king pin. In candle pin parlance. Chris all over it. See you later, Wally Gator. Big spare for Chris. 90 and a ball. Showing why he's second in the whole ACST in spares. 191 of them coming into this day. Chris just off the head pin. Gets rid of the seven pin though. Four horsemen to the right. One, three, six, and ten. All right. Any fans got anything to ask me? Feel free here. I'm on the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour on Facebook. Oh, is it going to go? Oh, man. Like Paul Grant says, wobblies wobble. It fell down. Take that, Paul Grant. <laughs> The wobbly wobble, it fell down this time. 106 and a ball. Nice break there for Chris. Definitely needs that. Keep that momentum building. Chris 
in the pocket. Goodbye. Set the detonation. Chris Parkinson. Like I said, this man can throw 130, 150 up at any point. 116 in the ninth. 126 and two balls in the tenth. Here comes Parkinson. Go for a double. Ooh. A little bit light in that one, two, leaving the start light five. Three, five, six, nine, and ten with no wood. First final ball of the game. And he gets a nine. Nice comeback. Chris Parkinson, 135 after 98 in the last game. Showing his stuff here. 74 second half. Okay, Billy Shiner coming up. Lane 16. Billy on the head pin. Leaving a three, four, six. Just slightly in the nose there. And oh man, sends it over, does not go. Looking for a 10 box right now. And he gets it. 52 through six for Billy. Three splits so far in this game. Out of six boxes. There we go. Big pocket hit. Open up the kaboom box just a really shiner. With a big strike there. 62 and two balls right now in the seventh. He's finishing up game three right now. Ooh, pulls it to the right there. Gets the lemon drop. But he's got two ball fill on the strike. It will be a seven fill on the strike. So 69 through seven. He's down uh, 11 pins through seven boxes. Okay, eight box, 77 through eight. Opposite a 20 and a 19. Big finish for Chris here. Chris had a 16, 20, 19 finish. Billy Light on the head pin mixing. Okay, he's got seven and a 10. Three pieces of wood on the deck. A flat one in front of the 10 and two in front of the seven. Pulled that just a pinch. He wanted to be on the severe left side of that, I think. What are you trying to do? Okay, we'll be a nine box. 86 to seven for Billy. One big box here. Chris Parkinson is taking game three. That's four points too. Six, seven, eight. Ball has been working. Got a cap that could be troublesome though. See how he plays it. Does not go. That'll be a nine box. B95 for Billy. Right now, Billy leads 4 to 2. And he leads by 42 pins as Chris Parker then comes up for game four. with a nine drop. Like I said, Parkinson's very explosive bowler. Showed it last game. Showed you a vicious hit there. Spare for Chris. Trying to keep that momentum flowing. This is game four. 
Right now, Billy Shiner leads four, game, four points to two, and has a 42-pin lead on total. But Chris Parkinson is heating up these last game or so. Chris in the pocket again. A little, hot, a little bit of nose there, leaving a four and a six, 18 through one. Got a couple pieces of wood he can try to knock around near the six. Did what he could with it, what was just a little too flat. Dennis, good news here, thank you. And a 10 for Chris. Chris is definitely getting a lot more precise how he's throwing it right now. He is right on his target area. Pretty much non-stop. Five objects in a row to start the game for Chris. Chris in the pocket. Oh, got the nose again. Leaving a three and two, no wood. That is a two, four, six, seven, and ten. He's a big out here. He's got five pins up on the deck here. These are two guys vying for the playoffs. Six box for Chris. Chris Rinell is tied for the last playoff spot with Chris McFarland. Billy has the division lead, and he's the number three seed. Both bowlers looking at different things here as their season is getting towards the end. Pocket hit, nine drop for uh, Parkinson. Chris on the head pin every single ball this uh, game. And he buries it. 44 a ball, Chris Parkinson. The battle is joined. As you know, Billy's going to come back like gangbusters. After that last game, it was very unlike Billy. He had a similar game after he had the big game against Justin, then he came back and bowled real well, so. Okay. Chris Parkinson, big spare fill here. Parkinson in the pocket again, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, 52 to 4 for Chris, leaving a 287. Wood does not appear to be useful. And he makes it. Wow, Chris Parkinson on fire. Perfect half on the head pin. 62 and a ball. The battle has been joined. Here comes Billy Shiner. Let's get Billy as the fifth high average in this whole conference. And he buries the pocket. Nine for the ball. There's a strike. Like I said, I knew Billy was going to come back strong at the beginning of this game. You're not going to keep him down long. Too much ability, too much power. Second high single for the 180. Six high series, 681. He's third in strikes with 60, and he showed you why right there. Go for a double. Big sell. Wow. Just light in the 1-3, and they left a diamond in one. That is a 2, 4, 5, 8, 10. No wood. On the object, but no luck there. Leaving a 4, 8, 10. Looking for an out ball. 7 on Billy Strike. And a 7 box. Billy trailing the game by 4 right now. Through 2. Opposite of six box here, then two marks for Chris. Once again, we're here, Ryan Pam Musers Millers. I'm Drew Steele. A land at Candle Pin Singles Tour. Billy, just off the head pin, but 
takes the eight pin out. He's got a pretty nice lead there. One, three, ten. With a nice plank near the ten. And he gets it. Burial ceremony. Billy Shiner. Billy now 34 to ball. Coming into the fourth here. Like I said, these are two very talented bowlers. They bowl in a really tough conference. In the pocket again, Billy. Leaving a five and a nine. 42 to three for Billy. Shiner Senior. Oh, he just pulled it. Just a pinch. This game is with of a razor blade that you can make or miss shots. It's very thin margins. Okay, 52 for Billy. He is tied through four boxes, but he's opposite of Mark here in the fifth. Box. Game number four right now. Very tight game this game. Just missed the head pin, leaving a Kaliri. One, three, six, ten, eight, no wood. Takes out the eight. Needs four horsemen for a ten box. Wow, 44 viewers. Once again, thank all you viewers. If you got any questions you want to talk, just fire away up here. Sometimes my screen doesn't scroll. That was a seven box for Billy. Chris Parkinson up three, has a fill ball. These points are very critical for Chris right now. He's on the borderline for being in and out of the playoffs. Ugh. Gets a three, chops the two, four, eight. He leads Billy by six, 65 59 through five. Game four. It's on the line right now. Way off there, but gets a bunch of pins. He's even got one, a three, and a seven. And he gets one right there. Eight box for Chris, 73 through six. This may be my quickest series of the year. These guys go fast because they're really darn good. They know what they want to do the second they're up on that lane. Chris in the chop zone but gets a break, leaving a 1 3 7. Also known as a 2 and 1. Gretchen, Mino Martino cheering on Chris, but he pulls it just a pinch. Okay, nine box, Chris Parkinson, 82 through seven. This is my third straight day being involved in bowling. I did ACST match and uh, King of the Hill Saturday. I watched my friend Wayne Everly bowl yesterday. I'm doing this match today. Ay, ay, ay. Chop suey, cold and scale. Chris Barker takes a 2 5 8 out, but this will be a pretty spare if it goes, let me tell you. And he, oh my goodness, how did that not go? What a bit by Chris. Because ten pin stays up. Those multi pinners are so difficult. Okay, nine box for Chris. Ninety one to eight. Probably the biggest point in the match right now for Chris. He needs one or two marks here. To keep the heat on Billy. Billy's very explosive. You get a seventy five or eighty half in a heartbeat. Uh, Michael, I have nothing scheduled uh, for this week. Except Sunday at 11 a.m. I'm doing duck pin bowling. But I may have another ASCST match. Uh, look me up on Facebook at Drew Steele. I always list all my matches on my Facebook there as well. He just missed that single. Thank you, Michael, for uh, enjoying it. I give all the credit to these great bowlers I, I, I'm viewing right now. 101 to 9 for Chris. Open for the half. He's a big mark here.
No problem, Michael. Glad you're enjoying it, man. Chris in the pocket. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Breaks the split up. Chris's ball probably around 36 miles an hour. At the pins, it's 33, but that's... Bob Lee tells me that's three miles an hour slower than where it is at release. Just missed the spare. Unfortunately, he's going to be open. 111 for Chris. He did, though, uh, with his fill, force Billy to mark this half. He's going to win. Must mark situation for Billy. Billy with an outstanding record, 106 and 76 once again. 121.72 average, which he's gone way over today. Hits the head pin, but a bad break. 3, 4, and 6. Yeah, a little right there from Billy. Leaving a 3 and a 6. Slices it over. Uh, does not go. Nine box. 68 for Billy. Two six. Yeah, 41 viewers. Awesome. Thank you. Billy in the pocket again. Wood coming out. So somebody's going to have to go get that. Mark for Billy. Two, four, five, and seven. No useful wood. No wood at all, actually. And you can't use that wood that uh, Chris is going to get. Unless he's doing a trick shot competition later on. Oh, just a pinch light for Billy. Taking the two, four, seven. Leaving the five. Jason Salbury says, Shiner, Shiner, he's our man. Billy, all kinds of fan support here on the ACST Facebook. That'll be a 10 box. As we had to go get the pin, it didn't record one of the shots. Chris will uh, work it out. Thank you. Chat room's getting a little more lively now. How I like it. I'm making some slight camera adjustments as we go. Hopefully it's working out well for you. Oh, hammer time, Billy Shiner. Just what the doctor ordered right there, baby. Billy's already bowled 12... 13 matches this year. This season is nearing its end. Every point for him to keep that division lead is huge right now. Nice. <laughs> uh, Luke, uh, I don't think I'm going to say that out loud, but I am going to tell him. I ain't going to let you get away with that one. I know you're probably a friend of his, but my goodness. Go a little easier on the man, please, if you would. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Luke, yeah, he says you got a face for radio. <laughs> I like sense of humor, though, Luke. It's all good. Okay, 104 for Billy. He had, uh, got distracted there. He had eight fill on his strike for 96. Billy needs eight pins to win right here. To go up 6-2 in the match. James Egan says get him, Billy. Billy mixing. Wood comes out, leaving a, a three, five, six, nine dinner bucket or diamond, whatever you, you prefer. Thank you, Aaron Thomas, for being on here. Billy just pulled it. I don't think Billy liked the wood on that one. He's trying to make it legit. Billy gets one, and that's all he needed. Woo! I got a little nonchalant on that call, but Billy wins the game by one. 
Every pin counts in candle pins. He's up 6-2 right now. He has a 43-pin lead as we had in the last game, but I remember Danny Finn made up 43 one time, and a guy named Billy Sanders Sr. made up 51 in the game to take a 15-pin lead once. Where's Parkinson? 6-7. Parkinson, no luck there. Oh, a nice ball, even a 6-7-10 even split. Eight box for Chris. I was talking to Chris in league. I'm saying, you know, I've been doing this three years. I haven't done one of your matches yet. So I'm glad I finally got to do one of his matches. Hopefully I get to do another one before the season ends. Great guy, Chris. Nine box. I like watch, watching high level bowling. I really do. James Egan says, get him, Billy. Man. Come on, we need some more Chris Parkinson uh, fan support on this uh, broadcast. If we can, please. Chris from the Four Horsemen. Gets three, leaves the headband. Go for a ten box right now. This is Chris's 13th match of the year. He has five remaining. Three within that very difficult division he's in with Justin Waters, Sean Taylor, and Jeremy Seaholm. Parkinson in the pocket. Ooh. Leaving a 10 pin. I thought it was a hammer, but uh, pins did not agree with me, I guess. There we go. Spare for Parkinson is what he needs. Trying to get a rally started right now. 28 a ball for Chris. Every single box in this final string, I'm going to let you know game and match deficits. Parkinson in the. Oh, no. Spread Eagle. You got to feel for the bowler in that situation. On a spare. 32 through uh, 3 for Chris. Okay, gets three. Wants to get a ten here. The reset, forget it. Take a deep breath and finish this half. Seven blocks for Chris. Thirty-nine through four right now. Excuse me, forty through four. I stand correct. Parkinson in the pocket. Another big nine drop, leaving a ten pin. Chris definitely has found the range. He's on that head pin, but he's garnering a lot of splits. Oh, he just pulled it. Win the gutter. All right, got to get a ten here. Okay. Ten box for Chris. Billy Shiner up for his fifth and final game. He's up six points to two. In that chop zone, chop suit, pull that stale. He's been here for three days. Three, six, nine. It's not pleasant when that happens. Just off the head pin, taking everything but that. Okay, 10 box for Billy. Um, up one, up 44 for the match right now. He's coming off a couple rough matches and really showing here. Because he had a 2 and 12 against Waters and a 2 and 12 against Jeremy Seahorn. Vision mates of Chris Parkinson. Uh, check mark, 3 5 6 10. Whew. Just a little wide here. Really bowling at like a Phil Buff pace right now. <laughs> okay. 
Dead. Eight of um, eight box for Billy. Dead even for the game up 43 for the match. Going into box three here in the final game. <laughs> yeah, I know, James. He's got to do that. Oh, Just off the head pin. But the ball's still working. Getting that extra pin. That, and another extra. What a huge break there at the end, possibly. Leaving a 1 2 instead of a 4 horse. Yeah. But he did what you gotta do. You get a big break, you take advantage of it. That's what Billy Shiner Sr. just did. It's a very important part of our game. 28 and a ball working. Billy still up that. That ball has just been working all day. He's got a little extra torque going. They got a 178 with wood. 35 to 3, up 3. He'll be open in the fourth. Has a 1 and a 7 out there. 9 box. Billy Shiner up 4 for the game, 47 for the match. Coming to his final box. Leading 44-40 in the game. I think, I think he went 0 for 5 on the head pin, but he's still going to be in the lead for the half. Pinning very well, and his ball's working very well. 1, 8, and 10. Wood to the right of the 1. Could be real helpful. But it was not. He will be open. These two points are anybody's business right now. Billy up four. 54 55 boxes to go. Parkinson wants these two points at least. Billy wants to try to get a 12 out of this. Keep his division lead. Or maybe increase it. Parkinson, okay, in the head pin, seven, eight. Got a nice piece of wood in between there, though. Got a baby split, three, ten for Chris. Chris gets it. Takes advantage of his break right there. Sixteen a ball for Parkinson. Woo, I love it when it's tight like this. All the games so far, except for the last one, were blowouts. I like it when it's nice and tight. Parkinson in the pocket. Six. Wow. Seven. Okay. I was about to say he didn't deserve that. But he got one more pin to go. Four, seven, eight with a diagonal wood with the four. Oh, and it didn't go. It was just too diagonal. Okay. 67 through six for Chris. 77 through 7 for Chris. All right, three big boxes for Chris Parkinson to finish his match. Like I said, he is tied for eighth right now with Chris McClellan, who has been lighting things up lately, throwing 700. Great nine pin drop, Chris Parkinson. Man. Head pin percentages today got to be in at least the 70s for these two. They've been on it. Nice ball for Parkinson. 87 and 1. Parkinson in the pocket. Goodbye. Open up your kaboom box. First Parkinson. 97 to 8. 107 in the 9. He's this type of bowler. Nothing will face him. He just keeps going. He goes far like the guy in that Terminator 2. He just keeps going. In the pocket again. Go for a double. Parkinson, beautiful nine drop. Coming to life here right at the end. 
And another... Oh, oh my goodness. I thought... Woo! It went for the man. Okay, 127 in the ball. What a finish for Parkinson. Strike. Spare, strike, spare. Huge second half. And Chris... Uh, ends up with a half post server. 129 for Chris. What a second half. I love that never say die attitude. Had a rough first half with three splits. It did not let it affect him at all. That's beautiful, boy. Okay. Billy to win the match. Billy needs 33 half to win the match and a 76 half to win the game. It's that simple. Oh my goodness. One five chop. Alright. The worst break in the game of bowling is that one five chop. Okay, Billy needs a big out here. Two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. And a six box. Wow, well, still. Okay. Billy trails by seven after six. That'll be a seven right there. Nice, nice spare lead. One, three, six for Billy. Just pulls it. Chris Parks hit up nine right now for the game. And this is a big finish for Chris with a 20, 20, and a 12 for the finish. There we go. Back in the pocket for Billy there. Leaving a 4 7. Just missed it. Takes out the seven. Going for a ten box right here. It is a nine box. Chris up ten right now. Two boxes to go in the game. There's another big pocket in for Shiner, leaving the four pit. That decides the game. Chris Parkinson has won the fifth game. Billy with a 10 box. It's going to be a 10 4 match in favor of oh, Billy Shiner. Senior. Enter the final box. Five and six. Yeah, Jim Azini, thank you for watching. I'm glad you really enjoy it, man. These are two great bowlers. They went at it today. They all have had great moments and some moments they probably didn't like, both of them, but that's how bowling is sometimes. Nine for Billy. That'll be a 96 game. Great comeback by Chris. Down 82, loses the match by 10 pins. Billy goes for a 601 to 591. Billy Shiner, a big 10 4 today. Probably increased that division lead. A tough loss for Chris as he's got five matches to go. Billy has, I think, four matches to go. Straight. Congratulations to Billy Shiner Sr. Hey, thank you, Drew. Cool. Do you want to do a post game or? I'll be like five seconds now. Sure. Okay, I'm coming. Pretty good. Watch come to this. Let's sit right about here. Billy, this is over. 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 This
Thank you.